Hello. Good morning. How are you? Fine. I am Madhavan from Bangalore. And uh, yesterday we have been talking about myself and yourself. This is a continuation of that. Okay. Study of self is called philosophy. And study of others, other selves, what is outside me, is called science. Surely there is a link between both philosophy and science as we humans live in duality. Duality here means with opposites. In our life everything we do as an opposite. Every action we do as a reaction. So this world is a life of duality and then we want to achieve singularity or the oneness of God. Yeah, but then we realize that it is not coming with life, it is coming with death. Duality is life, singularity is death. All of us know one of the ancient philosophy uh, that uh, performs singularity is called Advaita. Advaita means no Dvaita or there is no two, only one. This is what science is also talking about. If you take the reference of Stephen Hawking, the, the whole universe came out of singularity. And the scientists are trying to prove the point through their unified single force theory. And that's what uh, Vedatri Maharishi also talking about absolute space and its function as Vedatri and gravity. You and me, we live in this world of nature and cosmos, okay, without realizing that we are all single, unified, oneness concept. You are no different than me. I am no different than you. So we are not separate. We are one. But what happens in our daily life, your practical life? It will be something uh, that uh, is against the understanding of singularity lead us to a life of plurality, means multiples. We talk about diversity in the universe, diversity in people, diversity in nature, diversity in living beings. Oh, we like it, no? We love it. So we live in plurality. That's why Another popular philosophy came up and you know it is called Dvaita. Dvaita means two things, right? We are the ones who gave a Dvaita, we are the same ones who gave Dvaita as well. 
In my view, Dvaita is a philosophy for living. Advaita is a philosophy for dying. They polishedly call it as relinquishing. Give up. Give up everything, including your life. What do you mean? Give up life. If you give up life, you are dead. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing wrong in the philosophy. But as an individual, you got to decide whether am I going to live or am I going to die. If you want to live, live it fully. Understand, appreciate duality, the differences in life. If you want to die, die fully. Because there is no death for anybody. It is just a transformation of energy. So friends, one way to live a practical life is to see the rest of the universe as yourself. Right? Alternatively, you merge with the rest of the universe. See them as yourself or you merge with them and get dissolved in them. This is the most, uh, I would say, the spiritual way of self-realization. What we have seen is the play of static space and dynamic space generate particles. And these particles get multiplied and becomes the world, the universe, the life we live today. It is nothing but a group of particles and they are playing. If you increase the speed or the dynamic space to infinity, then you become a pure energy. Einstein calls it at a very high speed higher than the speed of light, you become energy, pure energy. Alternatively, you keep reducing the speed to zero, then you become absolute space. Then you become one with God. This is the secret of realization, friend. Either you see everything as yourself or in everything you get dissolved. Think it over and come to your own conclusions. And in case you need some clarifications or contra or information, you are free to call me up and discuss with me. Okay? Bye-bye. See you again. Thank you.